gang, welcome to this YouTube journey that we are now apparently embarking on. Um, mainly I wanted to show you a, a process of a project that I did and it's <laughs> too big to put on Instagram. Um, during the Christmas holidays I painted a mural, like a nearly five square meter big mural, which is just the size of it. I'm I still can't fully understand that I've done it. It's super surreal. Um, in my favorite cafe, um, it's a it's a mix. Like the concept is really amazing that they have. It's a mix between a cafe and a flower shop, and you get to sit. Like there's one of the tables from the cafe inside the flower shop. So if you want to, you can go and eat cake and sit surrounded from by by flowers and plants. It's just so cute, so nice. Also the owners are just very very lovely and sweet people so um if you happen to live in magdeburg or visit magdeburg in the east of germany please go there it's an amazing place and um the place is called pastel and they used to have uh, moss stapled to their counter which looked really cool <laughs> i have looked and only found one photo that i have of it where you can see it kind of in the background um i had to censor what i was working on on my laptop because it's a secret project sorry i will tell you in summer i think um but in the background you can see there, there was moss and it was actually really really cool because it looked really nice like it fit into the concept and you could smell it and you could touch it it was really like uh, it was so nice um but the health department didn't agree <laughs> they were like nope can't have that here um Health departments in, in Germany with like, especially food places are really, really strict. So if they find something and they're like, no, you can't leave that, you have to take it away. And the health department said, like, no, if, if coffee drops down, you can't swipe it off. And that's, that's a problem. That's not hygienic enough. So um, they were forced to take down the moss. And that's why I come in <laughs> because they asked me, or we agreed, that I would um, create a painting for that counter. And I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. <laughs> Looking back on it now, I'm like, hmm. Would I have said yes if I had known from the beginning that I would nearly take, I, I think it took me around 60 hours to create it, to finish it. And yeah, I probably would have said yes. It turned out really cool, I think. Um, so yeah, I I started working on it during the Christmas break because they closed the, the shop, the cafe, during the Christmas days. So the first day that we started working on it was actually Christmas Eve, like the 24th of December. And we started, because I'm, by the way, because I'm a good YouTuber apparently, I didn't take a camera the first day. <laughs> I just forgot, I'm oh, sorry. Uh, but I did take photos, so I can show you. The first day we um, took down the moss and took out the staples, which was so fiddly, like there were so many of them. A lot of them we just left in because afterwards we um, screwed over that, a, a, I don't know, thin wooden board, I guess. Like it was really like only three millimeters, some wooden thing from the hardware shop. And after the, the, the wooden boards were screwed on there, I painted them white just to have a really nice blank canvas to work with, I guess. Um, and yeah, that's when the real work began and that's like the, the cool part. Um, if, you, if you're following me on Instagram, you may have seen in my stories that I shared a sketch. I think I shared it. I think I, I teased towards like, hey, I'm working on a secret project and showed you these images of like how it's supposed to look in the end. And these digital versions of the project, like the first sketch I created looked a bit different. And then with Anja and Frank, the, the two owners together, we kind of worked to where they were happy. Like it's, it's still a commission. I did most work, but with commission work, you kind of have to find compromises between that's what I want to do and that's what they need me to do. And that was the final version we came up with. And um, 
where was I? <laughs> uh, with the digital version, I made sure that I, I feel like I'm a, a villain from a movie, just sitting here in my armchair, having the cat on my lap. I'm so sorry. Is this weird? Um, okay, she doesn't want to be an, a pet for a movie scene, apparently. Sorry. Um, where was I? Completely lost my train of thought. The digital version, um, the digital sketch, I made sure that that was vector based, so that means that you can scale it up without it becoming pixelated. Um, so I did that to scale and was like 9 centimeters high and like 50 centimeters long and scaled up each element and like did the math and did the numbers, which was <laughs> the hardest part. I was so confused. I was like, mm, wait, what? <laughs> But it, it worked, I managed to do it, um, and yeah, I printed it out, and then afterwards I kind of taped it to um, the counter, like each individual element where it needed to go. Um, first I kind of laid it out on the ground, and then taping it there, and then using um, kind of a copy paper. If you're sewing, or if you've ever seen somebody who's transferring like a pattern to sew a piece of clothing to fabric, you know what kind of paper I'm talking about. It's kind of blue or white or red or whatever color on one side and then when you press over it with a pencil you kind of redraw the lines and the blue transfers to the surface underneath it, if that makes sense. I mean you can see it right here, you probably understand what I'm talking about. Um, so that was like the first bit of the process and afterwards the actual painting began. Let me show you. process probably was the most surreal experience I had in a while um, just because I don't know you, you sit right in front of that wall all the time and you only see a small piece of what you're working on and you smell the colors which make you a bit dizzy after a while to be honest um, and it just took me way 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 longer than I expected and you have to be focused, you have to be present and in the moment because it's not like with digital work where you can just tap undo or with colored pencils where you can kind of go over it um, or like pencils, colored pencils, not all of them, probably have some pressure on you with colored pencils but I didn't have that pressure on me for a while that I couldn't make 
a lot of mistakes and I knew that every mistake would come with a lot of work and repainting it white and then going over it with color again because I couldn't layer these colors they were like I tried it and I love how saturated and bright they are but they are only that way if you paint them on white so I couldn't just paint the whole thing green and then go over it and do the smaller details bit by bit they had to be they exist next to each other not on top of each other so every time I made a mistake I was like oh shit now I have to go back with white <laughs> then let it dry and then come back with the color like that is just um, I don't know knowing that there isn't a lot of room for mistakes I felt like I had really I had to be really really focused and present and in the moment and at the same time it is very repetitive work like there isn't there isn't a lot to focus on like you just sit there and use your paintbrush and do the exact same movement for hours um also i didn't expect how physically exhausting it would be after day two i think <laughs> my muscles were sore i was just hurting all over my body um which <laughs> Not proud of. Apparently, I'm not. I'm not fit enough. But maybe I am. I don't know. I just sat in the weirdest positions while drawing, especially the bits that were like right below at the ground. And yeah, again, it just took me way longer than I expected. Um, but I'm really, really happy with the colors so far. Um, we used um, latex colors, so that's basically like your normal color you would use to paint a wall but it has components of latex in there so you can wipe over it with like a, just to clean the surface. You can clean the surface, that's what I'm trying to say, which was the whole purpose of the thing. So good, good for the latex colors. And after all the colors were done, I finally, finally got to do the line work, which it was so nice. It was so cool. The first line, I was like, oh, this is so, this is so amazing. Um, because with the lines it just all came together and it like my vision <laughs> finally happened it was such a cool moment um, for the lines I used acrylic markers again the lines took me longer than I wanted them to originally uh, but it's fine it's okay I'm not mad about it um, but the lines, the, I think with the with the painting, the pressure already was a lot because I was like, oh, there's like if I make a mistake, I have to put in more work to fix it. I can't just undo or erase. But with the lines, I knew I can't make mistakes. There is no room for absolutely no room for error because I couldn't paint over it for a lot of the places because the colors all were were mixed together. And I knew if I get a line in there somewhere, I can't paint over it because I don't have that color anymore. And I will never ever be able to create that exact same shade of green ever again. So better not make any mistakes, Louis. I don't know what possessed me to make it so detailed, but well, I regret nothing. It's a, it was a good choice because I think the, the results are cool. But during the process, I was like, what, what? what were my life choices up to this point um so yeah i finished with the line work late at night last night it took me so long <laughs> God, I, I i didn't expect it for for i didn't expect it to take me that long um overall as a project um, that is, I think, my main takeaway in case I ever do something like that again, to just schedule in a lot more time. Um, but overall, it was a really cool project. It was a really fun experience. It was an exhausting one, sure, but it was also really, really fun and I'm really happy and grateful that I got to do it. And because I finished late last night, I actually haven't seen the results with daylight yet and I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna show you so let's go